In next illustration, it is given a positive point charge capital Q is fixed at origin. A dipole with dipole moment P is placed along X axis far away from the origin. That means at a large distance from the origin dipole is placed and it is pointing along the positive X axis. Find number one, the kinetic energy of the dipole when it reached reaches at the distance d from the origin and second part of the question we need to calculate the force experienced by the charge capital q at this moment okay so let us make the rough diagram of the situation this is the charge particle placed at the origin and it is fixed and dipole is placed at a large distance and the dipole moment vector is pointing the positive x direction so this is at a large distance and dipole moment vector you can observe it is pointing in the positive x direction okay we can observe here this dipole will attract toward the charge particle we can verify it if we find the electric field because of the dipole at the position of the charge particle that means this will be in the rightward direction this is the positive charge that means this charge particle will attract toward the dipole that means electrostatic force we know always occur in pair because this charge particle is getting attracted toward the dipole that means this dipole will also be attracted toward the charge particle that means when we release this charge dipole it will start moving along the x axis in the negative x direction okay so let us release this dipole like this and it has reached at this position at a distance d and at this time velocity of this dipole say it is v this is at a distance small d as we know the mechanical energy will remain conserved that means we can apply conservation of mechanical energy that is the initial potential energy plus initial kinetic energy is equal to final potential energy and final kinetic energy okay now at a large distance if we observe the potential energy should be zero and initially we have held this dipole that means it is not free to move initially that means it is having the initial kinetic energy zero and initial potential energy is also zero and we need to calculate the final kinetic energy and uh, we can find the final potential energy of the dipole and charge particle system and here we can write the potential energy of the system associated with this charge particle and dipole equal to minus p dot e okay so let us write the potential energy of the system p is the dipole moment and e is the electric field at the center of the dipole because of this charge particle as we know this charge particle is positive that means the electric field vector because of this charge particle at the center of dipole should be in the rightward direction so this is e vector we can observe here the e vector and p vector both are parallel to each other that means we can write this dot product as minus multiplication p multiplication magnitude of e magnitude of e because of this should be equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught capital q divided by d square and multiplication cos 0 because angle between p and e vector equal to 0 degree now we can further rearrange we can now write this u final equal to minus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught p q divided by d square this is the final potential energy now let us substitute the values initial potential energy equal to 0 initial kinetic energy is 0 and in final potential energy we have calculated and uh, final kinetic energy we need to calculate this is the final potential energy so let us substitute this is the value of k k is the final kinetic energy that is equal to 1 upon 4 perhaps not pq divided by d square so we have calculated this part part a let us move to calculate part b part b is the force experienced by charge q at this moment okay we know the electric field because of this dipole 
at the position of the charged particle because charged particle is placed at the axial position of the dipole and it is at a distance small d and we know at the axial position of the dipole electric field vector is parallel to the dipole moment vector that means electric field at this position will be in the rightward direction okay and uh, we know the magnitude of uh, this electric field also we have the formula that is uh, 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 2 p divided by d cube this is the formula for the electric field because of this dipole okay that means this charged particle is under the electric field of this dipole which is having this magnitude and we know force experienced by the charged particle it can be given as f equal to q multiplication e and q is the charge and e is the electric field which we have written this right so now we can write the force experienced by this charged particle equal to this one we can further rearrange this is equal to 1 upon 2 pi epsilon naught p capital q divided by d q so this is the force experienced by this charged particle it will be in the rightward direction and if you ask the what is the force experienced by this dipole because of this charged particle this will be in the leftward direction and it will have the same magnitude why because electrostatic force always occur in pair magnitude equal and direction opposite so this is the final result